In the age of the internet, we are bombarded by stimuli and thousands of things begging for our attention. And that can negatively affect anyone, whether they have ADHD or not. A doomer describes someone with a generally pessimistic or hopeless point of view. It also should be noted that doomer is a meme and isn't a psychological term. So we will be doing our best to approach it as a mentality or attitude that is influenced by a few psychological factors, as well as ADHD. That being said, there's a lot to be learned from the doomer mentality, especially as it relates to ADHD or attention in general. Number one, depressiveness. Are you constantly told that you would do so much better if you tried a little harder, applied yourself more, or paid more attention? It may even become second nature to brush off these comments, but that doesn't mean you don't wonder about them as well. What if they're right? What if I'm just lazy? This can easily put you in a depressive state, killing your motivation and leaving you feeling hopeless. Unfortunately, ADHD often goes unnoticed in people with depressive symptoms, which makes it difficult to address or treat. If you aren't aware of your ADHD or those around you don't quite understand it, it can make you feel like they're just smarter or better than you and that their judgment of you is completely warranted. If you do have ADHD, remember that it's a disorder. Asking someone with ADHD to try harder is the same as asking a deaf person to listen harder. It just doesn't work like that. Constantly feeling like people expect more from you can throw you into a depressive state, which marks the beginning of the doomer loop. Number two, getting nothing done. Because your motivation has now been shattered by the unstoppable force of constant criticism and the immovable object that is personal responsibility, it becomes extremely difficult to get anything done. Building up the will to get tasks done becomes more challenging and daunting, and you may even start to lack feelings of urgency and the will to persist. Even though the logical side of you realizes that there are things that need to be done, the will just isn't there. Worst of all, after a whole day of getting nothing done, you still feel completely exhausted. The pressure of the task never leaves, so the weight hangs heavily over you all while you have no motivation. It's like a knight knowing he has to fight a dragon and then just standing there as the dragon cooks him alive. He knows the whole point is to kill the dragon and that the fire will harm him, but swinging his sword just seems impossible. If you feel like you just can't lift your sword and you can't kill the dragon, you may be in the second stage of the doomer loop. Number three, nothing seems to help. So what do you do? If you can't do the task in front of you, you can look for something that might help you be more productive. Coffee keeps you awake and focused, so you make cup after cup. Maybe a YouTube video will help, just so you can have some noise in the background. Before you know it, you're trying to watch two YouTube videos at once, and you're on your 10th cup of coffee. And that task you had to do has mostly been forgotten. If you're lucky, you got one paragraph done. Finding methods of focusing that ultimately do the opposite of what you intentionally employed them for is extremely common. As a person with ADHD, if you give something else your attention, it is extremely difficult to shift your attention back. So whatever method you use to focus may end up just pulling your focus away from what you should be doing. Number four, abandoning anything you aren't good at. When you're trying something new, do you give up when you can't master it immediately? You give up on it. It might feel difficult to see the goal and purpose of improving at something. It's not that you give up as soon as things get difficult. Instead, it feels like there's no reward for your brain. The effort just isn't worth it. It isn't the difficulty or challenge that pushes you away. It's the lack of incentive. Neurotypical people understand that the incentive is there, but it will just take time to reach it. If you wanna make music, you'll be replicating other people's music poorly before you can do anything on your own. If you wanna start working out, it will take months or even years before you feel like it's paid off. But in the mind of the ADHD doomer, if it begins to seem like there's no point, then you may have spiraled even further into the doomer loop. Number five, self-esteem issues, fear of inadequacy. What's the point of trying? 
For some reason, you just can't seem to do the thing you know you can and should do. You're told over and over again to keep trying even though you have been. So where does that leave you? At this point, you may believe that you're just inadequate. You don't blame your ADHD or your environment or the pressure, you just blame yourself. In turn, this breaks your self-esteem, which makes you more susceptible to the criticisms of others. And that brings us right back to where we started in the loop. But it isn't hopeless. Number six, how to get out of the loop. There are different types of ADHD that affect people in different ways. Because we're discussing an ADHD doomer loop, we can try to solve it based on the two parts that feed each other and create the loop. So we'll be looking at how to best approach ADHD symptoms for productivity and the depressive symptoms specifically relating to self-esteem and inadequacy. A big part of the loop is being unable to complete the task. The first thing to try is to find something rewarding that won't also be a distraction. Remember, part of the problem is that it feels like the brain has no reward for the effort. So a good place to start is finding a way to make progress feel more tangible. Something as simple as a checklist that you can fill in as you go can make the task seem smaller and easier to conquer. Of course, more severe ADHD would require more incentive and therapeutic solutions, such as central executive training, which is a type of mental exercise you can do to improve memory and focus. For those depressive symptoms, we need to find a way to lift your self-esteem, particularly how you think about your lack of productivity and how that affects your value as a person. According to a study on self-esteem repair conducted by behavioral scientist, David Nussbaum, the key to building up self-esteem effectively depends on how you view yourself. If you believe that you simply are the way you are, it may be best to defend your self-esteem by reassuring yourself that ADHD is a disorder and that you can work with it. On the other hand, if you believe you can improve, you can try the remedial approach, which is when you repair self-esteem by understanding where you can improve and by working on it. There is no correct method. Both of these work. It just depends on how you see your situation. Research on ADHD and depression has come a long way. Getting caught in the ADHD doomer loop isn't the end. If you found a way out of an ADHD doomer loop, let us know what worked for you in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos like this. You've got this.